What's going on, you guys? Too tall here. From Too Tall's Model Car Garage. Just wanted to give you guys another update. I know I've kind of been flooding you guys with videos earlier this week, but it's going to be the final one for this week. As you know, yesterday, the 69 Camaro came in the mail. Well, I got to thinking, and looked like it was in really great shape, but I wanted to put my own twist to it. I didn't do much. I just swapped out the wheels and tires, put new rubber and new wheels on, and put some new plates on, and put some decals on the window. Let's take a look, see over here. VP, comp cams. This kind of looks like the old Yanko from the movie Too Fast, Too Furious, so I went ahead and I don't know. I don't know what decal sheet it came from. I think it's from the '67 Chevelle. It says "Too Fast" for the plate, and then got some leftover bow tie plates from that Monte Carlo kit I was working on. I decided to go with the one with the chain around it. So, but anyway. The reason why I pulled the wheels off was because these rallies are in pretty good shape. And I thought maybe they look good on a square body pickup or square body two wheel drive. So I've got a whole bunch of deserter kits. I've been thinking about making another two wheel drive, slamming these on there. So they're in pretty good shape. Like I said, the previous owner did a really good job on them, so instead of sitting there on the shelf, I decided to scrap them and use them for something else. But here's the wheels that I went with. They're kind of, they look like Kregers. I don't know if they truly are Kregers or not, but these wheels and tires were from the uh, Monza kit. They were the extras in the Monza kit that I got that I did for roadkill of course they're, uh, they're sitting on good years I think these are from the 68 Camaro kit because I used a couple of these on the on the uh, crop duster build but the only difference though the front ones are a little bit narrower narrow than the back ones so alrighty oh and I also the air filter for the dual quad was uh, missing somehow it ended up in the interior I think it fell off and the owner put it in the interior but anyway I found it because it was just sitting with the two carburetors open so and I finally found it and got it back together so alrighty like I said, this is just going to be a short video. I'm not going to do any editing on it. I've been spending too much time on the computer this week anyway. So, alrighty. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you soon.